I am someone who produces a ton of data. And as a creator who shoots videos in 4K, storing all that data on my desktop, well, that's not really a great solution. So when it comes to storing your data, you've basically got two choices. You can put it all in the cloud with services like Google Drive, iCloud, or Dropbox, or you can take control of your own data with something called a NAS or a network attached storage device. And at first glance, I get it. Look, cloud feels very convenient, but let's be honest, it's not very efficient. I mean, you are relying on your internet speeds. And even with fiber, you're often capped at 50 to 100 megabytes per second uploads. Compare that to your homeland where you can use a modern NAS and you can deliver up to 2.5 gigabyte speeds. Now that's the difference between waiting for a couple hours for a terabyte to upload or just moving it across your own network in a matter of 30 or 40 minutes. Cloud storage also comes with a pretty heavy monthly bill. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but $10 here, $20 there, over the years or even decades, that can add up to thousands of dollars. Listen, that's a small fortune just for the privilege of what? Borrowing space that you never truly own? And then of course, there's the privacy issue. When you upload anything to the cloud, well, you're trusting that corporation not to peek at your data, mine your data, or worse, sell your data. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And this just brings us to another alternative, and that is deploying a NAS. And a NAS is essentially your own personal cloud server at your home. It gives you full ownership of your drives, of your data, faster speeds, and of course, no monthly fees. And today we're gonna look at a NAS that really nails, in my opinion, the sweet spot of price, performance, and features, the Ugreen NAS Sync DH4300 Plus. Hailed as the best beginner NAS, the DH4300 Plus has a sleek vertical design, almost like a mini tower PC crossed with a toaster. Pop off the lid and you've got four drive bays inside. Each tray supports a standard 3.5 or 2.5 hard drive up to a whopping 120 terabytes total. Now, something to note here before you go on, please make sure you check down below in the description. There you're gonna find a drive compatibility list. You just wanna make sure that your drives are compatible with this NAS. Now it is a rather exhaustive list, but you're better safe than sorry. Make sure you check that link down below. Now these trays, they do require screws. This is a bit old school compared to the tools designs of some, but once these drives are mounted, they sit snug and quiet thanks to the rubber padding. The top lid, well, it doesn't lock down. Something to be careful with, but overall, the build feels sturdy and minimalist. Under the hood, we have a Rock Chip RK3588 CPU, which is an eight core ARM chip. It also features onboard eight gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM. It includes 32 gigabytes of eMMC flash storage for the operating system, four SATA drive bays, one 2.5 gigabit port for fast networking speeds. It also has a few USB-A ports and a USB-C port that features a 10 gigabit per second port for fast external transfers. It includes an HDMI 2.0B output, so you can easily hook up a external display if you wish. For a NAS in the 365 price range, these are some killer specs. Setting up this device could not be any simpler. Throw in at least one drive, plug in a device to power, then plug in the ethernet cable to your router or your switch. Now, simply just push the power button. For the software side of things, you have a couple different options. You can scan the QR code on the lid, download the Ugreen app on the Android or iOS app stores, use the NFC of your phone to connect to it, or plug it into your local area network and open a browser on a computer that's on that same network. Now, just simply navigate to find.ugnas.com and you should see your NAS show up there. Once there, simply click that and continue the easy to use and easy to follow setup process. The DH4300 Plus runs UGOS Pro, Ugreen's Linux-based NAS operating system. It covers all the basics like drive health, RAID setup, snapshots, file sharing over SMB, FTP, or even WebDAV. 
Ugreen NAS also gives you the ability to sync your information that may be over on your NAS directly up to the cloud. It gives you the option to sync the things like Google Drive, OneDrive, and some other cloud applications. I'm gonna go ahead and set up Google Drive off screen. Nope, not gonna dox myself or give you my information. Nice try, but trust me, it's super simple. Just click whatever desired service you want, and it's a really easy setup process. Once you get it set up, really easy to add a sync task. Head over to the sync tab, click create. Then you just need to select where you wanna save any of your information that you might wanna sync. So the cloud path here in my case is Ugreen. I've set this up on Google Drive. And then the NAS, let's say in this instance, I wanted to back up my photos, hit confirm. And then you have the option to do a couple of different things. You can do a two-way sync, which is gonna sync back and forth, sync only one way, or sync data changes from the NAS to the cloud drive. A lot of different options. In this case, I wanted to do it a two-way sync. On the next screen, you'll see really cool information. You can manually sync it, you can schedule it, or you can real-time sync it, which just means that if you make any changes, let's say in my photos or my pictures that I'm having synced up to Google Drive, it'll automatically make those changes once it detects them. In my case, I'll do manual, hit next, hit confirm, and just like that, you've set up your first syncing task. It has backup scheduling and media apps for things like music, photos, and videos. And where it shines to me is in its simplicity. The UI is clean, responsive, and easy to pick up. For more advanced users that want to install things like Plex, Home Assistant, or even Minecraft servers, you can easily spin up Docker containers right on this NAS and in the operating system. Ugreen also offers a really cool AI photo gallery management system that allows you to easily manage, organize, and even find your photos. This is a really cool feature, and I really appreciate the attention here. To me, it shows that Ugreen is really keeping up with the modern times and the needs of users in the demand for AI applications. Let's take a look at a real world example. I'm going to upload a movie file here. I'm gonna put it into Google Drive, and we're gonna see how long it takes to upload. Then I'm gonna take that same file, and I'm gonna push it over to the NAS. As you can see here, comparing the two, well, there really is no comparison. The speed you're going to get out of your NAS from your local area network is going to be much faster than trying to upload it to anything, Google Drive, OneDrive, or any of the other corporations like Dropbox. Uploading it just isn't really an efficient way if you're going to be using the cloud. It takes way too long. So I think the solution here is 100% using a NAS if you're interested in porting over and pushing over your information quickly to a storage device. There are some pros and cons here. First for the pros, this is an excellent value. It's under $400 for a four bay NAS. It also has modern connectivity with that 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, the HDMI port, and that USB-C port that runs at 10 gigabytes per second. It's very quiet, it's energy efficient, it's solid for things like media streaming, backup, and even personal cloud use. Now there are some cons with only having one network port, again being kind of picky, you know, there's no link aggregation or redundancy there for your network, and there is no ability to upgrade the RAM, that's all on board. But again, this is being very picky with the cons, because you have to remember in order to keep the cost down, and to keep things simple for the noobs in being something like the best beginner NAS on the marketplace, to me, these are certainly acceptable, if not even expected compromises that really have no real impact on the average home user. For anybody wanting to use this device to store basic data, photos, movies, in a very easy to use and easy to set up NAS, well, I really do think this might be the device for you. And for anyone looking to install more advanced things like Jellyfin, there are many one-click installs and also the ability to add Docker containers and applications manually if you're someone that's into self-hosting and hosting your own applications. After using this for a few days, I found it to be great for things like Jellyfin, and it would be perfectly fine for most of the applications that you want to put on this device. It does only have eight gigabytes of RAM, so you want to be conscious of your RAM usage and it being an ARM-based processor, well, it's not really ideal for virtualization. But overall, the DH4300 is a quiet device and I had no issues running any of my applications. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's an enterprise device, but for 99% of the home users and even small business users, well, I think it's more than enough. Before I get to my takeaways and my verdict on this NAS, I want to make mention that Ugreen was kind enough to send us a discount code. So make sure you check the description down below if you're interested in buying this. 
You know old Hills got you. Go on and get you a discount now. But look, if you're tired of the cloud storage bills, the slow upload speeds, and of course, like me, the privacy concerns, a NAS by far is the smarter long-term solution. And the Ugreen DH4300 Plus is a fantastic entry point for a NAS. For about $365, you get a powerful, quiet, energy-efficient, easy-to-use 4-bay NAS with modern ports and speeds that make uploading to the cloud look like dial-up. This setup is super simple, the price is right, and I think for the average user, I would 100% recommend this device. If you are interested, please remember, take a look at that discount code down below and check out the links to purchase or even learn a little bit more about the NAS in the description. So I think the question is pretty clear. Do you wanna keep renting space in someone else's cloud and trusting them that they're being good stewards of your data? Or do you wanna take control back by using something like a NAS? For me, the DH4300 Plus makes that choice pretty clear. If you found any value in this, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, until next time, I'm Hill Phantom.